there is no let up in the stream of Somali refugees out of Yemen. Many of them are arriving in the port of Berbera in the breakaway enclave of Somaliland. At a makeshift camp in Berbera town, some of the refugees wait to be transported home. It's the first time Abu Bakr Mukhtar has set foot in Somalia since he fled the war in 1991. He says he had no intention of returning home. There were airstrikes in our area. Many people died. We feared for our safety and fled before ground troops came in, and all roads get closed. 60-year-old Amina Hussein lived in the al kharaz refugee camp in Yemen. She breaks down when we asked about her journey back to Somalia. I am saddened by the fate of the refugees still trapped at al kharaz camp. They have been abandoned by the UN and the aid agencies and have little food and water. They have also no money to pay for the journey back to Somalia. Most of the refugees say they are eager to go back to their towns and villages in southern Somalia where they fled from initially due to the Somali civil war. It's only those who don't have anywhere to go back to who will remain in this temporary camp. Aid agencies say there are now plans to build a proper refugee camp to house Yemenis seeking asylum in Somalia and Somalis unwilling to return to their hometowns. The crisis in Yemen has also affected trade with Somalia. Every year, thousands of livestock are exported through the ports of Berbera and Bosaso to Yemen and Gulf states. At the port of Berbera, the ships that used to transport livestock to Yemen are idle. <laughs> Work has stopped. All Yemeni ports are closed. We've been in Berbera for the last one and a half months. We'll only start working again once the crisis is over. Yemen is one of the poorest countries in the Middle East, but it has great strategic importance for its neighbors. Somalis are realizing that the hard way. Mohammed Adou Al Jazeera at the port city of Berbera.